hi, hi guys. So today we're gonna sharpen a pencil on a razor blade. Oh yeah, let's go. My dad's gonna look like this. Me and my brother Stavros, we can't do it for the little kids. We we can't do the razor blade on a um, pencil because we're too young. My dad's gonna do it. It's not safe for kids. So let's go. Hey guys, today we're going to be sharp showing you how to sharpen a pencil with a razor blade. Alright everyone, today we're going to learn how to sharpen a pencil with a razor blade as the kids told you. And I'm going to do it because they're too young. Okay, so this, uh, this pencil that we're using here uh, is a charcoal pencil and um, we, uh, we ordered this from I think Jerry's uh, Art Supply online. And this is a Conte uh, pencil, uh, and it's a Conte 1710B. Uh, so you want to make sure you get the B, which means that it's nice and soft and nice and black. Uh, and we're going to sharpen this pencil with a razor blade, with a straight razor. We've got a brand new razor blade here. you got to be very careful with this, right, guys? Very dangerous. Yeah, it's really yeah, dangerous. really dangerous. Be you, careful. You could cut yourself. You could cut yourself. Even, like... If, if, if it's like super salt, you just slice your hand off, kind of. You could probably almost slice your hand off, kind of. Uh, and then the other thing we have here is a Nitram uh, sanding block. So I kind of like this to, uh, to clean up the, the charcoal uh, and get the pencil to a nice tapered edge. So the idea here is we're going to take the wood casing off of most of the pencil so we have a really long tapered edge. On the uh, on the edge of the pencil, so we're going to take this wood casing off a little bit at a time, carefully because it's pretty frustrating if you get halfway through this and you break your pencil and you have to start over. Okay, so this could be like a kind of a relaxing thing to do, right? So if you're having a, a hard day and you don't really want to think and you don't really want to do any work, right, and you can't concentrate, sharpen a pencil for the next time you draw. So I'm going to go ahead and start to do this. The way you want to hold this blade. Is between these two fingers right here. Okay, so we got the blade between our thumb and our pointer finger. The sharp parts over there, so we want to keep it away from us. We're going to hold the pencil like this, a nice light grip on there. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to use our thumb to push the blade. So we're going to drive the blade forward with our thumb. So we're going to start just down here. As you can see, we're going to take little bits off at a time. Now you're going to notice I have my nasty garbage can down underneath here. We need a nasty garbage can. We got the old Spider-Man garbage can. You guys know where I got this garbage can from? No, I don't. You Maybe Costco? Or like summer? Costco. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Costco was around when I got this garbage can. Your mom bought this for me for Christmas once before you guys were born. It looks like it, but it looks like, oh, uh, like when it was your birthday you got that. Yeah, it was Christmas when I got this. Oh. Your mom might, thought I might like a Spider-Man garbage can. It's so dumb. <laughs> you thought that was a dumb gift? That was a, that was a good comment that you made. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Okay, so what we're doing here again, I'm gonna take the pencil, I'm going to slowly spin it like this. You guys see what's happening? So I'm taking like, I'm taking little chunks just off the edge of the casing. So when you get a pencil, there's wood, and the wood casing holds the lead inside. Yeah, because okay? there's lead all the way down. There's lead all the way um, down throughout the entire pencil. Because if there wasn't wood, it would just fall out or break. Or it would get your hands really dirty. Yeah, right? or it would get your hands dirty. There's just like dust on it. Okay, so what we're going to do is normally when people draw, when they learn how to draw, they hold the pencil like they're writing. Okay, I have a And writing and drawing are not the same thing. They're different. So when you write your name, it's different than when you're drawing. You have a question. Go ahead. Um, uh, if, if you use, like, uh, one of my laser blade, it will, like, slice your hand off or something or get cut? Uh, you probably won't slice your hand off. But, but you'll cut your finger and you could bleed. Yeah, you could. You do not want that. Is it sharper than a bike? Sharper than a bike? Yeah. What? Yes. A bike is even sharp. You mean like the pedals on your bike? Yes. 
Yeah, yeah but sharp. Sharper than that. Like running over your fingers. This is really sharp. A razor blade is actually for cutting things. So getting back to it, Stavra, do you know why we're going to change the way we're using a pencil? We, we, don't want, we don't want the pencil to be used like we write. So when we write, we're way down here in the pencil and we're making these little tiny movements and we're using kind of like our fingers and our wrist. Okay, and when you draw, you want to be able to move your whole arm. Okay, because you can make nicer marks if you can use your whole arm. Also, we want to learn how to draw so that you can be a better painter, right? And a paintbrush, we don't hold like a pencil. So we don't want to hold a pencil like a pencil. We want to hold a pencil like a brush. I'm kind of using my thumb to push the blade forward. And then I'm kind of using the using my other hand, my right hand, I'm using to kind of angle the blade. And, and what you want to do is not drive the blade into the charcoal. You want to sort of almost like slide it and just scrape little bits off at a time. And with the Conti, I noticed that if you get just the right depth, just the right angle, what's going to happen is those shavings are just going to pop right off for you really nice. Okay, so you want to just go a little bit at a time. You don't ever want to try to hurry up. You don't want to be like, oh, let me hurry up, sharpen my pencil, um, because you're going to end up breaking it and you're going to get super frustrated. And by the time you're done and you're ready to sit down and do some work, you realize that you can't even sharpen your pencil and you can't even draw, right? You got no time yeah. to draw because you yeah. keep breaking your pencils. Yes. How, many, how much money did those pencils cost? That's a good question. So where do we get these pencils? We got them from Jerry's Art Supply. I tried to find these on Amazon. Uh, they're not on Amazon for some reason. Uh, so we got them from Jerry's, Jerry's Artorama, maybe it's called, or something like that, online. Uh, these pencils aren't cheap. So what I did was I bought a 12-pack. Um, a, a so you can see here I bought a 12-pack of these. There's 12 of these. Again, the Conti. Um, and they're the 1710B. So here's here's the pack of 12 because you could probably go through a bunch of these. Um, you want to have a few of these sharpened at a time. You always want to have a couple of them ready to go so that you never need to stop working. You just keep working. Oh, Sophia's got a question. Go. Um, like, if you let go really bad and you keep scraping that, you kind of break the top off. And if you run out of pencils, you can't even write. You can't even draw. Yeah, so you have to buy like some. You have to buy some pencils, and yeah. Yeah, and you got to go slow because, like Sophia said, if I try to rush and I'm not careful, I'm gonna snap the top right off of the pencil. Stavra has a question. Yes. Yeah, um, why can't you use a regular pencil? That's a great question. Why can't you use a regular pencil? So the reason that we're doing this is because um, the other day in one of my classes, so I'm, I'm taking classes myself, learning how to draw in a different way, right? So I'm taking classes with Watts Atelier, which is in California. You guys know the school in California where I take classes? I have no where I idea. I watch my teacher on the TV, right? So it's pretty cool, an online class. I don't have to go there. I could just watch him on TV and he teaches me how to do stuff. What do you think? Uh I think um, that you're a great teacher. Are you actually a teacher? Yeah. I am actually a teacher. teacher. Oh, so, artist teacher, right? Yeah, an art teacher, that's right. So like, my art teacher, Jeff Watts, showed me through taking his classes how to sharpen a pencil this way. And Stavra wants to know why we would sharpen a pencil this way. Why would we do this again? Do you remember? There's a couple reasons. One, because it would make us better at what? Drawing. And? Writing. No. Close. And... What is this? What? Oh, and better at painting. Better at painting. So this is going to make us better at painting. The reason that I wanted to show you this is because students in my class asked me the other day because they have to do a scholarship competition where uh, the students are going to go to a college and they have to make a drawing using charcoal, which that's what this is, a charcoal pencil. Um, so they're going to do a life drawing with a charcoal pencil, and they said, well, what do you think, how, how can I uh, 
get better at drawing from life? How can I get better at, um, you know, how can I do better in this competition? And I said, well, it's probably too late to start that conversation now because you got this competition in about a month and I can't teach you how to draw better in one month. Um, but we can start with trying to use the charcoal pencil differently instead of using it like a pencil where you write. Let's try to sharpen the pencil this way so that we have um, a different way and we can make more ex expressive marks when we draw. And we can hold the pencil differently. I mean, so it's just part of it's just part of the training. I think what we want to stress is again, it, it develops different control, different different dexterity that will allow us to be better at drawing. So how do you hold the pencil when you have that like all done? Good question. So you're gonna hold the pencil like this. So you're gonna actually take the pencil like this and you're gonna hold it down here, okay? And you could you could rest the pencil inside of the palm of your hand and you're going to take your two fingers and your thumb and when we make marks we can move the pencil this way and this way and we can actually use our whole arm we could use the edge of the pencil or we can get on the tip here and we could get nice straight angular lines so you're going to have a nice sharp tip you're going to have all this taper down so you can shade and you can make marks in these different directions Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the edge of the blade like this and we're going to use it sort of up and down in a 90 degree angle. And it's hard to get the, um, the binder off the pencil, that like little white gluey stuff that is actually making the casing stick to the charcoal. Um, but I noticed that if I continue to try to get too, too much going like this, uh, what I might do is like chip a piece and actually compromise the shape. So I don't really want to do that. So what I'm doing here is sort of like, I'm using it like this and I'm just kind of giving it a, a scrape and you can see I'm rotating the pencil with my other finger. So I'm just going to keep rotating the pencil like this and I'm going to keep scraping until most of that binder comes off. And also I'm going to get closer down here toward the edge because I don't want there to be this little like ridge right here where it sort of gets fat and then it gets sort of skinny suddenly. I want it to gradually get skinnier and that's called a taper. Did you know that? What's a taper? Taper is when it like sort of gradually gets skinnier, it tapers in so it just kind of goes to a nice triangular point and it doesn't go like rectangle and then all of a sudden suddenly it gets really small. So it gives it a gradual change, a gradual taper. So I've got a pretty good shape going on here. Now let's go ahead and just pull in the, uh, put the razor blade down and let's pull in the sanding block. And I, and I like to just kind of go like this and you can see what I'm doing here. You don't want to press too hard when you do this, guys. Because if you press too hard, you're going to snap this thing right off, right? Yeah, you're going to break it. Yeah, you don't want to break it. Yeah. Dad, so yes. you don't want to what does that hard. thing do like for the pencil? The sanding pad? Yeah. So what this is doing is it's taking charcoal dust and, it, and, it, and it's just sort of sanding away the charcoal and getting it to a nice point. So what I'm doing here, I'm going back and forth, I'm moving kind of fast, right? I'm doing this, but as I'm doing this, I'm rotating the pencil a little bit. So I'm kind of spinning the pencil in my hand as I'm going back and forth like this. And you can see when I do that, all that dust in there is from sharpening pencils. The important thing is not that I'm, I'm showing you how to sharpen a pencil. This should be like your first step in, in actually going and taking classes at a good school. It's really hard Dad, to find good art training. I have yeah. a question. Uh, Hopefully I give people good art training. You, you can't use a pen either because it won't work because like pencils color would like then... Why don't you come over here and explain that because I think that's a really good point. Back up a little bit. The camera's right there, the little circle. So go ahead and explain that you cannot yeah. use a pen. So you can, like, you see that point? It has, like, a color in it. And you know where it's shining? It has some color. Show the camera. Oh. Right see? there. That's the camera. So. Yeah. And it has a big point. A little circle. Okay. A little, yeah. So you can't use a pen yeah, because you can't yeah. do this. Yeah. You can't do this with a pen. No. No. So the other thing that I got, which is yeah. kind of like an extra. Yeah, you can't use a pen like this one. Okay. We have a tinder box of pen. Can't use a pen. Yeah. Isn't that a good question? That was an excellent comment.
Okay. Um, so we got this thing, and I use this to clean off the charcoal dust. You can see all the dust that's on there. This is just a, it's like a, it's almost like a rosin bag or something. I don't know what they call it, but it's, it's got like uh, some talcum powder inside there, uh, and it's actually used to clean pencils. But you can see there, what a nice tape. Look at that. So we got the ability now to use the side of the pencil to shade. We've got the ability to use the tip of the pencil to make really sharp, nice lines, clean lines. Um, and again, we're going to change the way that we hold the pencil. We're going to grip it like this and we're going to anchor it inside of this part of our hand so we can make all these different types of marks that you could not make uh, if you were just using a, a traditional pencil or if you were holding a pencil like a writing implement. It doesn't mean that you can't do this sometimes when you want to get in there, but for the most part, you want to try to hold it like the brush and angle it in Dad, different Dad, ways. Can you pencils in here? Wait, I have a question about a coloring piece. Just what I was doing over here. Like, you have a question about something you colored? Yeah, like... We're going to come right at you with some questions Sophia's got about coloring. Yeah, two of these colors are X out. X. X. Those two are X out because they're not available. That is a pen. X. That is a colored pencil like this one. X. So you can't use only those, but you only could use where's that pencil? Oh, you only could use this pencil. Ooh, what? <laughs> you got black oh. all over your hands. <laughs> Should I wash them? What did we do today? Let's review what we did today. We were using a pencil to go on a razor or something. We were what? using a pencil to sh get sharpened with a razor. Yeah, sharpening with a razor. In our PJs. Yes. I, 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 I did that backwards. I did a hair and then I did a head. I did it backwards. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Boop. That's our exit. Hey there. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, bye, bye, hi. <coughs> bye, 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 bye. We're gonna go back and review what we did today. We sharp, we sharpened a pencil with a razor blade. We sharpened it like a beast. A beast! We sharpened pencils like a beast today. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Like, there's like a little button that they put on the laptop or something, and then they say click it, and then you can never even miss a video. Hmm. That's if you subscribe.